Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new episode of each and every effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today we're going to learn how you can use notch effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So first let's record an audio clip, right? So here I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've already made a sequence. Let's record an audio clip. If I right click here, then I can go to voiceover record setting. And from here, I can select my microphone. You can see already this microphone have been detected, right? So if I click here on this icon, then I can start recording. Let's start recording. Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new episode of each and every effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today we're going to learn how you can use notch effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without any further delay, let's get started. Shall we? So I have recorded the audio clip. Now I can just play it back. Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new episode of each and every effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today, so that is pretty good. But sometimes when you record some voices have some destructive audio frequency. So using notch effect, you can eliminate those frequencies, right? So if I go to our effects panel, and then if I go to audio effects, and there, if I go to filter and EQ, there you will see notch filter, right? If I click and drag it here, I can apply the effect, go to window, and then go to effects control panel to see the control panel panel. And here you will see notch filter, right? If I click edit, I can see the notch filter panel. And here you can change the settings. So there are different segments. If you want to disable any segment, you can just click here to disable it just like that. And if you want to enable, you can just enable a new segment. And to change the frequency, suppose this is 60 Hertz. So if you have a spike on 60 Hertz, you can just decrease the spike, right? Just like that. If you just click and drag the gain, it will decrease that specific frequency and you can change the noise width clicking here we can select very narrow it will make the noise width very narrow and you can also go to super narrow to make it very super narrow right so if i click it here you'll see it is not affecting wider frequencies it is just focusing on 60 hertz so what is the purpose using this filter so suppose here if i play it back james and welcome to a new if i just enable a single frequency suppose here and then i can make it a little bit narrow or very narrow and then i can change the frequency suppose here now if i play it back you can see the audio is very distracting right and if i just disable it and play it back you can see here my voice frequency a little bit prominent and also here my voice frequency a little bit prominent so i can just decrease a little bit of that frequency to make my voice a little bit smoother right so if i select this frequency and then if i just decrease the gain so without any further delay let's get started shall we maybe slide this much and again enable another one then i can go here hey guys this is james and welcome to this spike and i can just decrease it just by minus 47 dv and i can enable another one then i can change the frequency maybe here and i can disable that one too to a new episode of each and every effect in adobe Premiere so Pro. what is Today exactly we're going to it is making the frequency of my voice over a little bit smoother so that it doesn't hurt your ears so just like that if you want to eliminate a specific frequency from your audio clip you can use notch filter you don't need to use that just for voice over suppose when you record audio there are some static noise so if you can detect the static noise frequency you can just decrease the gain of that specific frequency and it will eliminate that noise just like that if you have any unwanted noise you can use this filter to reduce that noise a little bit so that is how you can use notch filter in adobe premiere pro to make your voiceover or any audio clip a little bit smoother so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then Goodbye.